There is God. I come before you with gratitude in my heart. Thank you for being my refuge and shelter. Thank you for your daily protection. Thank you for your tender mercies, which follow me day after day. Father, I am eternally grateful for who you are and all you do for me. Thank you for forgiving me of my trespasses. Thank you because I can always approach the throne of grace with boldness to obtain mercy. The book of Hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 to 16 talking about Jesus the great high priest said, Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weakness. But we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. So, Father, I have come before your throne of grace to seek your mercy, to find help. Lord, I have been at the same point for a while now. I have not made progress. I have experienced innumerable setbacks that have kept me hovering around the same points. I have not been able to move forward. But today, Lord, I want to break the hole of stagnation over my life. I want to set free. I want to encounter supernatural speed. Just like you gave Elijah to outrun the chariots of Ahab. 1 Kings 18 verse 46 reads that the power of the Lord came on Elijah and tucking his cloak into his belt, he ran ahead of Ahab all the way to Jezreel. Father, I ask that your hand comes upon me mightily. Let your power come upon me, Lord. Give me speed that I may cover all the ground I have lost and outrun my contemporaries. I have tarried at this mountain for too long, Lord. Deuteronomy 1 verses 6 and 7 reads, The Lord our God said to us at Horeb, You have stayed too long at this mountain. Break camp and advance into the hill country of the Amorites. Father, you said to the Israelites yourself that they had stayed too long at that mountain. Lord, help me. I have stayed too long at this point in my life as well. My contemporaries have all moved ahead of me. It's as though I have been stagnant. I want to break free. Help me break free from the yoke of stagnation, O oh Lord. From today, I declare that I begin to advance. I declare that I am breaking free from the yoke of stagnation. Your word says in Matthew 16, 19, that I have been given the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever I bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever I lose in on earth will be loosed in heaven. So today I bind stagnation in my life and that of my family. I declare that we have been set free. Every demonic yoke that has held us bound is hereby broken. In the name of Jesus, through the power in the name that is above every other name, I declare freedom from stagnation in my life and my family members. Every negative generational portent of stagnation ends with me right now in Jesus name we proclaim our freedom in the name of Jesus father we ask that you restore to us all the years we have lost through the numerous setbacks we have encountered Joel 2 verses 25 to 27 and I will repay you for the years the locusts had eaten, the great locusts and the young locusts, the other locusts and the locust swarm, my great army, which I sent among you. You will have plenty to eat until you are full, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God, who has worked wonders for you. Never again will my people be shamed. Then you will know that I am in Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. Never again will my people be shamed. Lord, I ask for restoration. Restoration for all the years that I have lost. Restoration for the years my family has lost as a unit. Father, I declare that it is a season of plenty. Just as your word said, from this moment, we begin to have plenty to eat. We receive acceleration and divine provision in our businesses. 
We eat so we are full. We are blessed and our cups run over. I declare that from today, the stench of shame is removed from us. No longer will we be looked down on. Your word has said that never again will we be shamed. Through the blood of Christ, our shame has been taken away. So, Father, I declare restoration in my career, restoration in my home, restoration in my relationships. Let everything I have lost these past years be restored to me in multiple folds. I receive wisdom and insights for strategies to cause this speed to happen in my business. I declare that it's a season of promotion and advancement in every area of my life. The Bible says that after Job prayed for his friends, you restored to him everything that he had lost in multiple folds. Father, I thank you because the season of setbacks is over in my life. From today onwards, as I seek your face concerning a matter, and I declare that you will establish my steps. You will level the path before me. You will make the journey easy. I declare that the Lord goes before me to prepare the way for me. I reject setbacks that lead to stagnation in my business. I reject the setbacks in my home, in my career, in my spiritual life, in my relationships. The yoke of stagnation and setbacks over my life and that of my loved ones has been broken in Jesus name. I declare that whatsoever I lay my hands on to do prosper, my home prospers, my children are blessed, my loved ones are blessed, my mind is blessed, my body is blessed, my health is striving. There are no more setbacks. I have overcome. My family has overcome. We have escaped the snare of the fowler. We have escaped the snare of the evil one who has used stagnation to hold us down for years. Today, I have declared my freedom and deliverance through the blood of Christ. Because who the Son sets free is truly free indeed. I am free in Jesus' name. No more stagnation for me. Just like Jabez, I have cried out to the Lord asking him to change my story. I do not want setbacks anymore. I declare that from now on I only progress in life. Nothing shall hinder me. Nothing shall stop me. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. No curse can hold me down. The curse has been eradicated. Jesus has set me free from the curse. My generation is free from the curse of stagnation. We have been set free. Jabez was conceived in pain. He carried that stigma of shame and pain around him till he could be aid no more. Jabez must have experienced setback and stagnation. Otherwise, why would he cry in First Chronicles 4 verse 10? Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his requests. Father, I am crying out today that I am tired of playing small. I am tired of pain and shame. Enlarge my territory, O oh Lord. Bless me on all sides. Let all the things that had hitherto not worked in the past begin to work. Let your hand be with me. Guide me. Order my steps. Thank you for setting me free from pain and shame. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your mercies and your forever, O oh Lord. Thank you for new seasons in my life. Seasons of supernatural speed, favor, ease, restoration, and rest. I receive the people you have sent into my life to help me. Restore the relationships that I destroyed myself, which could have helped me. Give me the wisdom to take the right steps to repair those relationships. Thank you for restoring my home, for filling it with peace, love and laughter. Thank you for restoring my business. We make 10 times more than we ever had in the shortest period. Thank you for new strategies and insights for business. Thank you for rebuking the spirit of delay in my life. No delays in marriage, education, childbearing or business ventures. Every part of my life progresses. I advance spiritually, financially, martially, emotionally, and physically. Thank you, Lord, 
for in Jesus' most precious name I've prayed. Amen.